God. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rikha Kudash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one Akam, who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, so sorry, uh, uh, Salakia, for the background noise. I'm at a uh, Issachar restaurant um, right now. I'm, it's pretty empty in here. I'm in the corner, wanting to do my lesson. And, and what it is is I'm I'm waiting for my car uh, to get oil changed. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and come over here and and get this lesson in. But the the word I wanted to look up through through the spirit on Blue Letter Bible is destruction. All right, so that's kind of just the theme of this lesson. Going on a few verses regarding destruction, and uh, let me see. Let's start at Proverbs. I had a verse I was reading and looking at earlier. Let's get this one. Proverbs 10 and 14. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Right? And the wise men are the men who are, are, are of this, you know, coming in the fold of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, the men of the elect, right? So we're the ones who are, uh, you know, you know, are, we lay up knowledge. And what we're laying up knowledge uh, right now, you know, on these, on these videos, on these lessons, and uh, you know the foolish, which are the non-believers, their their mouth is near destruction, right? Because when the the nuclear missiles come and hit, hey, that this is the fate of these foolish. Which the word foolish it means that you don't believe, non-believer. You know, that's literally what that word foolish means. But uh, let's go into this word destruction real quick. I gotta get used to, cause this is not the app. I just googled it, so I gotta get used to using the the word on the app. Let me see. Using that, <laughs> I gotta get used to using the. Okay, there we go. So destruction using the app on my phone, which I it's like it's not even the app. It's just the, uh, just Google the Blue Letter Bible. So the word destruction is mehita, mehita. Let's get that real quick. Strong's H, 4288. Mehita, mehita. Mehita, all right. We're going to Strong's Info. It says, from properly a dissolution Concretely, a ruin, or abstractly, cons consternation, destruction, dismay, ruin, terror. All right. So this is what all the things that the uh, that the uh, you know the, the the foolish, which are the the wicked, the heathen, and the two thirds, they all fall into that category of the foolish because they don't believe the scriptures, they don't believe this Bible, they don't believe this destruction. Is coming to them, all right? Terror is coming to them, all right? Let's read this. Destruction, ruin, terror, uh, breaking, terror, dismay, object of terror, ruin, you see? So, that's what it is, man, with this. Let's, uh, let's keep reading. Let's read more verses pertaining to the destruction. Does it, hey, like, like we're reading, Babylon America is sure to be destroyed according to biblical prophecy. All right? All right, so like, yeah, so, yeah that's, this is inevitable. This destruction of Babylon America is biblical prophecy. All right? Let's see, let's see what else we got here. And like I said, I'm going to read a few precepts here. Um, Here you go, Proverbs 13, 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, 
but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. All right, and, and that goes into sound doctrine. You know, if you have sound doctrine, then, you know, this is what's going to keep our lives by keeping sound doctrine, leading the flock, to, uh, you know, correctly, properly, breaking down these verses correctly. But if you, 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 you know, you talk too much or you misspeak constantly, you know, you, you're teaching uh, the flock the wrong, the wrong way, the wrong thing, and guess what? You're going to lead yourself to destruction. You'll be part of the destruction. You know? It don't matter if you're an Israelite. We know the two-thirds a lot, but the majority of Israel is going to be destroyed. All right? So let's keep reading. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, there it goes again. A fool's mouth is uh, Proverbs 18 and 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are a, the snare of his soul. See, so that's how, how important it is to, to, you know, to, to have sound doctrine when we're in these scriptures. You know, you don't want to be teaching the wrong way, because you're literally, that's a trap to your soul. See? Um... Let's read 21 and 15. Proverbs. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. You see that? So the workers of iniquity, man. We know that starts out with Esau, Edom. They're wicked. You're following in his uh, his ways and his, and his customs, his traditions, and you're just going to be a part of that destruction, man. Um... And what I what we read so far is basically um, this uh, this where destruction goes right in line with terror, right? Because people are going to be terrified when you get that text on your cell phone. You know the emergency hotline, the emergency text, uh, the national and emergency hotline, and the people say, "Oh well." Uh, Russia, they're going to, all these Babylonians, a.k.a. Americans, they're going to get that text on their phone that says, you know, Russia has just sent a, a nuclear missile, the Satan missile, to, uh, to your city, and it'll arrive in 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's going to terrorize people. People are going to die from heart attacks, you know. Um, I saw this... Uh, Little, uh, little reenactor, or not a reenactment, but a, like an acting. Uh, they, they had it on YouTube where these people all got the text about the nuclear missiles being sent, and you had all these people just calling their loved ones and saying goodbye and telling them that they loved them, and you know what I'm saying? Because they know it was the end. When uh, Oppenheimer built that, uh, or made that uh, technology, um, you know, the atomic bomb. What did he say? He said, I have become the destroyer of worlds, right? And we got, we, um, we out, we through the spirit, we found out one of the top um, nuclear uh, uh, men that was in charge of, the, you know, the nuclear program in Germany. His name is Abraham Esau. So, you know, we, we learned all these things through the spirit. But, um, you know, Esau's destruction is going to come at his own hands because, you know, the, the, the Russian Edomites are, are, be, are basically enemies with the Babylonian Edomites. So, and then we know all the other heathen nations are going to send that fire and burn the whore, which is America, Babylon, right? In the Bible prophecy. Um, let's see... Let's read Isaiah 54 and 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. So that's, that's the thing. The Isaiah 54 14 is talking about the elect. The elect are not going to have to worry, not even when the missiles come, right? We'll go to that verse right there, Isaiah 54, 14. Because if you read down to 17, it tells you. Well, let's read uh, 54, 16. And that's beautiful that that popped up. 
because uh, that's that's the way, that's the uh, the verse I had in mind while I was telling you about Oppenheimer, the the, the guy who uh, you know created and finalized the atomic bomb. And by the way, Esau Edom when he made that atomic bomb, when he had the technology, he had it. He had he created that atomic bomb like uh, I believe it was like uh, the end of, or the middle of June in 1945. And he uh, shot that missile or, or bomb. He dropped that bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki two weeks later. So if you think that these Edomites don't want to use the, use their weapons, you're sadly mistaken, man. They, they can't wait to use their weapons. You know, you people are like, oh, they don't. They, you know, there's no one will ever send a, a missile. You know, you got people who really actually believe that. But you think these missiles, these nuclear missiles, are just for show and tell? Hey, they want to use them, and uh, there's going to be a day when the Lord puts the Spirit on these Edomites to start sending missiles, and He's going to put the Spirit on uh, on the, the Russians, as the Scriptures, uh, you know, prophesize. It's it, it says the Medes, but when you understand uh, the the uh, Spirit, the Medes is the same region where Russia, the Russians are now, in ancient times. The Medes. That's where the Russians, um, it, you know, that's where they, they dwell in that same region today, right? But it says in the Bible, the Medes, all right? So let's, uh, let me keep reading Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And the waster are those missiles, all right? And the smith is a is in ancient time the smith would make uh, weapons a blacksmith, right? But today's modern day blacksmith is is a uh, is what you would call a scientist. And those German scientists, those Edomite scientists, well, guess what? They made they made the waster, man. They created that waster to destroy, and they're gonna use that waster, man. And then verse, this is the one I want to read, Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, and the righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai. So, A, no weapon formed against the elect shall prosper. All right? Because those missiles, those ICBMs, they are going to prosper just fine on the uh, on the uh, the heathen, the two thirds, the wicked. You know, terror is gonna is gonna rise in, in the hearts of, of those uh, those wicked. Uh, the, you know, the heathen, the wicked, which is Esau, and also the two thirds of our own people who who you know you you, you want to be in the way of a heathen. You want to you, you you serve the, the gods of the heathen, or you're an eighth so-called atheists. You don't want to give no reverence or, or pay hom homage to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Guess what? That's a wicked ass thing to do and you're, those weapons are going to prosper on your ass. See that? Alright? And guess what? Uh, the, the elect, no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. We have the faith. We see the chariots. We see our ride home in the midst of a destruction where it says the, uh, the elect shall be saved scarcely. Meaning at the nick, in the nick of time, at the last moment. Guess what? That's going to happen for us, bro. So we, we know what it is, man. All right? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out. And I want to give all the prayer. You know what? Actually, so like, let me go a little longer here. Let's get this word for the Medes. All right, this is the verse I wanted, and then I'll close out. Isaiah 13 and 17, it says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All right? So the Medes... The Medes, which is uh, the, the region where Russia is today, guess what? That's Vladimir Putin. He's good. The Lord's going to put a spirit on him to send those missiles at Babylon, America. 
and uh, he's not gonna pay take a payment of silver or gold or money, no currency. I mean, he's all, they're already using their own currency. They said fuck Babylon, right? That's what the whole BRICS movement is all about, right? Um, let me see if I got any more in here that I want to grab. Let's read this one real quick. Make this is Jeremiah fifty one eleven. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, the vengeance of his temple, right? The vengeance of his church, right? Because not only are the Medes going to come up against it, so are, so are the angels, so are the chariots, so is Yahweh Shai, all right? Yeah, so are the other heathen that are that are uh, allies with the Medes, right? So America has a lot of adversaries in these last days, and the Bible prophecy is, is, is uh, you know, manifesting. It's showing itself. And, uh, you know, if you ain't in the fold of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, you got no protection, man. You're gonna get, you're gonna get annihilated in the nuclear war. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a beautiful thing because that's, you know how Esau, he wants to do his great reset with his uh, new world order? Well, the true great reset is coming with those nuclear missiles and also the chariot fire and also all the other plagues that are coming to Babylon, America and to the wicked and to the heathen and to everybody who deserves to be destroyed for, uh, you know, rejecting the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all right? So with that, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakah Kudash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect.